Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Beer Geek Nation. I'm your host, Chris. Thank you so much for joining me once again for another beer review. And today, guys, we're going back to San Diego. This one is from Carl Strauss Brewing. This is their Two Tortugas Belgian-style quadruple ale. That's 11.1%, so it's a massive beer. It's a beer that's designed to be aged. This is the second beer in their uh, 12 Days series, which is a holiday series for them. They started last year with Parrot and a Palm Tree. And basically what they're doing is they're going to put out 12 different styles of beers each year. And at the end of that 12, you know, the idea is that you have bottles from each and you just do a massive, you know, vertical tasting and see how they age, see how they develop. They're designed to be aged. That's how they built these beers. So with that said, let me get into a glass that you guys know how it smells, tastes, and give you the verdict. I'm Carl Strauss, Two Tortugas. All right, guys, so the appearance on the two Tortugas, uh, it's this brilliant dark bronze orange. Um, you can see right through it, it's crystal clear. Uh, nice, there's about a quarter finger of an off-white type of khaki head on there. Nice big bubble sticking around the edge there with the lacing. Lots of alcohol legs on this one. Decent amount of carbonation coming from the bottom of the glass. Nice tight white bubbles in the middle there. Um, it's not quite as dark as I would think like a traditional quadruple would be, but it's still just a really, really nice looking beer. All right, so the aroma on the two Tortugas. Wow, there is massive amounts of dark fruit in there. You're getting, you know, these, these cherries and raisins and plums. There's a phenolic character from the Belgian niche strain coming through, a, a slight banana and spicy, earthy kind of uh, aroma coming off of this one. Big breadiness, big sweet kind of syrupy maltiness in there. Touch of booziness, but not overwhelming at all. Yeah, I mean, this, this is a perfect example of why you want to get the proper type of glassware. This beer is just screaming complexity and flavor. Just awesome, awesome smelling stuff. All right, guys, so the taste in Carl Strauss, two Tortugas. Cheers. Wow. Wow, yeah. The aroma and the taste complement each other perfectly in this beer. Right at the front of the tongue, you're just getting assaulted with big dark fruits, raisins, cherries, plums. Um, Middle of the tongue, you start to get more of the sweetness from the malts, the big, bready malts that you expect in a Belgian quadruple, blending with those cherries to really kind of create this like big, syrupy, sweet mouthfeel. What's nice is that being that this beer is 11.1%, that alcohol does to kind of kick in and help to cut some of that sweetness, kind of clean out the palate a little bit. There's a decent amount of carbonation as well to do that. Nice, it's a, a semi-sweet finish aftertaste, definitely getting um, like a caramel toffee, a spicy kind of herbal phenolic character in the aftertaste, more dark fruits, more of the sweet kind of breadiness. Yeah, it's exactly what you would expect in a quad with big fruits and big malty <laughs> breadiness. It's just, it's an awesome drinking beer. All right, guys, so the final version of the Carl Strauss Two Tortugas Belgian Style Quad, 11.1%. Guys, this one for me is an easy A. This is one of the best examples of an American quadruple that I've ever had. It fires on all the cylinders. It's got the dark fruits. It's got the big kind of sweet ready notes. It's got the phenolic characters from the Belgian yeast. And it's a warming beer, 11.1%. You feel and you know you, you taste the alcohol, but the alcohol really just enhances the overall beer, beer, and it makes it a sipping beer. It's a great wintertime beer for when the weather gets cold. Even though in San Diego, I don't know if they need that, by the way. But here in Pennsylvania, it's definitely something I seek out. So with that said, guys, I think if you like the you know quadruple style, this is one that is definitely worth trading for, definitely worth picking up. And you're gonna pick, pick yourself up a couple bottles because this thing is still a very young beer. And over the years, this thing's gonna age with the best of them. Like you can just tell that all those characters are gonna start to you know, come out and there's gonna be more cherry and the alcohol is gonna get turned down a little bit. It's just an awesome beer. It's gonna get an A for me. And remember folks, life is too short. Drink amazing beer, cheers.